Yes, you heard correctly. Most of these students will receive a diploma and a degree at the same time. And here is the unusual part of the story. These students have been coming to this campus since ninth grade from their home high schools, representing 11 different school districts. Another criteria is that they will be the first in their family to go to college. Now, this is initially funded in, in part by Knowledge Works Foundation and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So certainly that gave us a, a nice little um, you know, start. In early college is an opportunity for first generation students to attend a higher education institution. Click on that one for me. The way that we do it is that ninth graders come onto the campus and they'll stay here for four years and during those four years they will have um, their high school courses in their freshman and sophomore year blended with a few college classes but by the time they're juniors and seniors 80 to 100 percent of their classes will be college coursework and they'll receive dual enrollment. Okay duplicate that. The advantages are that they receive the two years free tuition books and fees. Uh, the other advantage to that is that when they graduate, they'll be able to go into their third year of college and still receive scholarships and grants. Some students who were scholastically eligible for early college heard about it as middle school students touring their new high school. Some were worried they would miss out on high school sports and dances. And they also let us know about a program called Early College and then they said that we would be at LCC for all our classes, but just to be at Safi before and after school. And so since I figured I could still play sports by being at Safi after school, I decided to look into it. And Yulin is one of those students that you just have to admire because he's always had his goal and his vision, but more importantly, he's been able to sustain it. Yulin goes to Southview High School for a part of the day, returning for afternoon wrestling practice, where his father and uncle also wrestled and still help out the coaching staff. There is a rare male continuity in Yulin's family. I told him, like, use your academics to get to college. You can pick what college you want to go to. With his early college associate's degree, Yulin will only have two years left if he decides on a four-year college. It gives students a huge advantage, but it is important to understand that these students are carrying a dual load of study, and part of the workload is college grade. Still got it. There's been some rough, stressful nights where you got a lot of reports and projects to get done, you know, had some late nights uh, doing homework. But other than that, they give you uh, opportunities during school. They give you study halls that you can work on them, and then also they get, have uh, plenty of tutors that help you with your work. Madeline Dotson just turned 18 and is a much-loved member of early college. But the program was made for students like Madeline, who had a pretty rough childhood and wasn't very focused coming into Lorain County Community College. I care about school, but I didn't really appreciate it as much as I do now. I think as I've gotten older that it's sort of, you know, sunken in that if you don't go to school, you're really, you know, not going to be anything, I guess. But, I mean, for the past few years, I've decided what I want to major in, and I'm sticking to it, really. I want to be a special education teacher. Early college students become well connected with their community, and Madeline often spends her spare time helping causes in the area. This was a fundraiser for a local man needing expensive medical help. This was also on a Sunday afternoon. And to see her change and grow as a student has been, uh, it's probably been one of the more rewarding things that we do because it says that the program has merit. Many students in the program would probably have become dropouts if they hadn't gone to early college. Shayna Walker is one of those students. And at one point I was like, oh, I should just drop out. And my mom told me, no, that's, that's not an option. I said, I know, but that's the way I feel because I'm so bored. So I research things like this early college program that would actually challenge me. And I said, I'm gonna get into this program. I think I will stay in the area because I wanna be a contribu contribution to Lorraine. A lot of people, they move out of Lorraine and that doesn't help. That doesn't help us at all. When you make something of yourself, you should stay in the place that you are so that you can build that place up and that's what I'm going to do. The early college program has had other effects too. What makes up an ATP molecule? When asked his personal feeling about taking on this teaching assignment, 
One teacher responded like this. Uh, my personal feeling, notice I smile when you ask that question, um, it's like I have my career in teaching uh, is a rejuvenation for me. I taught 21 years on the 7th and 8th grade level science and I had an opportunity to come out to a college campus and teach. I can't wait to come here every morning. It's just an awesome opportunity, not only for the students, but for me. What attracted me was the fact that the program is so intense and it, and it wasn't just a, another Band-Aid approach. This was intense, it's four years, it's, it was driven, and it was the kind of thing that could change a culture, a community, a person.